Hey everybody, welcome in to our new series all about Excel and formulas. And this is a beginner level series to really get you involved in Excel and actually start using it practically. My name is Greg Treziak. I'm one of the awesome trainers here at Pragmatic Works. And this YouTube video is gonna be a great way to get you diving into Excel, feeling comfortable with it. And we're gonna have a lot in this series to get you to almost an expert. We're gonna look at average, we're gonna look at median, we're gonna look at mode, and sum. Well, an average, just to recap, is us dividing the total of all of our values by the number of those values, so the actual amount of values. For median, what I can do is I'm gonna find the middle number in a list of numbers ordered from lowest to highest. From there, we're gonna look at the mode. The mode is the value that appears the most often in a set of data. And last but not least, we've got the sum, which is really just the total of the numbers. I've got an awesome scenario lined out for you, so let's try it out. I'm gonna go here to Greg's Rodeo Eats. So let's take a peek at our sales. I've got meats, I've got salads, I've got appetizers, I've got sides. I'm ready to dig in, how about you? So let's start out with an average. Well, there's a couple of ways we can do about that. And here's the thing about Power BI, Excel, really any Microsoft product, there's a ton of different ways you can do something. It really depends on what's most comfortable for you. I like to do it this way. I think it's pretty simple to follow along and input. So whether you're looking at students' grades, your restaurant sales, or anything, you can just plug this into Excel, look at your data, and get some of these awesome uh, measurements figured out. So let's try it out. So I've got ribeyes, I've got New York strips, fillets, ribs, and our chucks. So what we can do is let's go to this box here where we want the average. There's two ways we can go about this. The first way is gonna be right up here in this formula bar. This formula bar is where all the magic happens. We can do a lot here, but we have to follow a simple formatting to get everything together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press equal sign. That is basically the key to open up the door so we can really dive in and write something out. All we have to do is type average. Now, there's a lot that's gonna pop up. The IntelliSense is gonna say, hey, do you wanna do this? Do you wanna do that? But we're gonna keep it simple today and we're gonna deal with average. All we need to do from this point on is press tab. Now, the great thing about this is you can see average is gonna tell us, hey, we need your numbers. What's number one, number two, number three, number four? Mamba number five, yeah, okay, no. But really, what we'll do is just give it the range. So what is the range of those numbers? The easiest way to go about this is let's just click on the first one we want and let's hold it and drag it all the way to Chuck. So let's go ribeye to Chuck, boom. Notice how it's collected that range from C9 here to C13. Cardinal rule, whenever we have an open parentheses, we gotta close that parentheses up. And from here, all we need to do is press enter. There we go, that's our average. We can see here that our usual quantity from the meat side of our sales is about 37.2. That's our average. Let's move on to our salads, a little bit of a lighter option, all right? And we can see about our median meaning we can do the same way. And you can do this with a whole host of Excel functions. I can't tell you how many there are out there. There are so many, there's so much you can do. It really depends on the data you're looking at and really what your needs are. Let's keep diving in and see what else we can make. I've got median here. I'm gonna click into that box again, go up to my formula bar, get that equal sign going. All I need to do is press the letter M and E, and boom, right there I've got median, and it's gonna return the median for us or the number in the middle of that given set of numbers. I'm gonna press tab here. If you press enter, you're gonna get something like this. Nope, <laughs> you need to press tab because you're gonna confuse it. It's gonna say, hey, you're not done yet. Let's try it again. I'm gonna go median, find it, and then I'm gonna press tab, tab it in. Likewise, I've got this awesome little crossbar here and I'm gonna grab the range. Start from the top all the way to the bottom. And I know I've mentioned it, our cardinal rule, when we have that open parentheses, we better close that parentheses up. So close up shop and 
hit enter. Now, once we've got it all set up, we can hit enter and we're going to get our median, which in this case is 28. Now, we've got five salad items here. If we were to instead have an even amount of things, so we had Caesar, house, chicken, steak, Greek, and maybe we had a falafel salad or something like that, then we would actually get an average from that. Let's keep moving on. We've got mode here. How does mode work? Well, we can follow the same procedures. We'll click into the mode section, go up to our trusty formula bar, and hit that equal sign, mode. It's gonna have a couple of options here. We don't need to worry about those today. We'll figure it out a different day. And we've got mode right here. Now we've pressed tab, but we also can double click it. And then we need to go grab those numbers. So I'm gonna get rid of those two and pull in what I want. I want onion castles, armadillo eggs, wings, cowboy caviar, our secret nachos. Wow, those seem to be selling pretty good. I'm gonna grab that and close my parentheses. Let's hit enter here. Now to recap, remember mode is gonna be the one that appears the most. And here we've got onion castles with 40 served wings, our cowboy caviar. So we're selling a lot of that and that's gonna reflect here in our data. Now let's tackle some. There's a lot of cool ways we can do some, and I'm gonna show you two ways that are a little bit different. So we're gonna up our game a little bit. We're gonna try something else out. Now I know we've been working in that formula bar, but I'm here to tell you that you can actually work in the cell where you want your results. So I could go to the yellow area next to sum equals, and I could write everything out there if I wanted to. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna to go to sum equals, and again, remember our key is that equal sign, Press that equal sign, and let's try for sum, S-U-M. There's a lot there, don't worry, just make sure you've got sum, and we can tab it in. Now, same thing as usual. We'll give it that range of numbers from start to finish, and we'll close it up. You can press enter here, and boom. There's our sum of numbers. So not only can we do that in the formula bar, we also can do it right there in the cell. All right, I hope you're ready for a little bit of extra credit. I know, I know. It's been four different functions that we're going into, but we got one more we're gonna cover, one way to do it. So one other way we can go about this, pretty awesome way to do this is, let's click on that cell here. And what we can do is go right up from home. So make sure you're clicked in on home and go all the way over to the right-hand side under editing. Now here we're gonna have a feature called auto sum. So I've got 262 here. What would happen if I delete this? Let me just get rid of that. And this time around, I'm gonna just go to grabbing our numbers and go to auto sum. See, notice here that it's collected all the values for me. All I need to do is press enter. And hey, I'm right back to 262. I hope that is a great introduction into some of the very common types of functions that you're gonna use in Excel. Our goal for this series is covering things that, hey, maybe you didn't know about or it's your first time really playing with Excel other than putting in just a few numbers to kind of be a placeholder. So I hope Greg's Rodeo Eats introduced a little bit of that to you and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Thanks.